Returning to Power Slap for the first time since November of 2022, Paul Teague is in a new weight class with a new attitude, and he's got a world title on his mind as he prepares to do battle with Robert Trujillo. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. Dominique Melendez, 22 years old, from Centerville, Virginia, currently living in Seymour, Texas, where he's a ranch hand. Michael Bisping saw Power Slap on TV with his girlfriend, said he knew he had to get involved. Yeah, that's right. As you say, works as a ranch hand, but he's got a little bit of combat sports experience. His father was actually in the Marines, still is. He's a sergeant major there, and his dad was a wrestler. His father was also a big part of the hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat training, so he worked out with him on that one. Now, regarding his opponent, Joseph, he said, listen, he needs to work on his chin. He's expecting a first-round knockout. Now... Dominic did lose the coin toss, so he will get slapped first. And his dad said to him, are you afraid to get hit? He said, no, I'm going to eat that, and then I'm going to knock him out. So coming into this one, very confident. Not only did he say he was going to eat it and knock him out, he said he was going to look right into the camera after that first shot. Slappy Joe Landman. From Levittown, PA, about 30 minutes outside of Philadelphia. One. Uh, oh, and two in power slap, actually. I'm not going to say that. Joe Lambin said he treated this sport as a joke at first, and now he's taking it seriously. After that loss to Amir Nuruddin, he changes entire lifestyle, physically, emotionally, mentally. Says he's in a great place right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, he taught him a big, big lesson. He knows he's got... A big opportunity at his fingertips, so he said, listen, I'm going to get it together. So started working out like crazy. He quit smoking. He's lost 10 pounds, and he's feeling a way, way better version of himself. So I said, what do you know about this guy, Dominic the Menace Melendez? He says, I don't know anything. He said, it doesn't matter. I know he works at Chipotle. That is about it. Coming into this one, as I say, he's lost weight. He's put on muscle. He's feeling bigger. He's feeling stronger. Been doing a lot of power lifting, deadlifts. Uh, deadlifts, pardon me. Does 20 miles a day on a stationary bike to warm up and then hits the weights and then starts hitting the bob. So I'm expecting a new and improved version of the landman. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape for Dominique Melendez and Slappy Joe Landman. Landman, two years older, but it's Melendez, the newcomer, with a one-inch reach advantage as we are set for our first match of the evening. Justin Bernard back as our power slap announcer once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the power is on! Welcome to the Power Slap Arena, live from the Fight Mecca, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Power Slap for Hits versus Turpin. This match is three rounds in the Power Slap middleweight division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Out of Seymour, Texas, Dominic yeah. the Menace Melendez. Yeah, let's go, Dominic. Your time. And now in the red corner, he stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Out of Levittown, Pennsylvania, Joseph Slappy Joe. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Joseph Landman. No fear, dog. You better set her up. All right, we are set for our first match of the evening. 
You're right here. You're good. You're set. And Slappy Joe land man. Right, Which hand and on what count? Right Fighting for the right first. Right on three. Right time this three. month, third time this year. Still looking for that first win. Very motivated coming into this one, Mike. Yeah, and as we said, a second to go. Feels way stronger. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I mean, that's a good way to start the night. Wait, wait, let him count, let him count. Let him stay down for a second. Let him count, stay still. Stay still, stay still. That is is it. That's it. Back to the join board for that one, buddy. Slappy Joe getting that first win. Look at him. Joe, the landman with a landmine strike. Hey, that's a great way to rebound. Last time out didn't go his way. Comes back here tonight. First round knockout. It's going to be a good night. Danny White's got a big smile on his face. You talked about the life changes, working out more, eating healthier, lost a bunch of weight, quit smoking. But he's been training like crazy. Added power lifting to the routine. Runs a couple of miles every day, just in a great place, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, he recognizes there's a big opportunity here. There's money to be made. There's a big platform. He can build his his brand, so to speak, and do a lot of great things. So he's got to take it seriously. He said, before tonight, I was kind of messing around, but last time getting knocked out, told me a valuable lesson, comes back bigger and better. And look at that. Melendez doesn't know what day it is. That was a nice slap. That's beautiful. Keeps Very. the feet on the ground. Got great rotation. You got to keep your feet on the ground, Dan. Can't be floating around. Look at that. Look at you know what? It's nice to see a smile on Joe Landman's face for the first time. Let's send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match in round number one, declaring the winner by TKO. Joseph Slappy Joe Landman. All right, so he improves to one and two in power slap, and now he's rolling. Joe Landman, the first, his grandfather would be very happy. He has a tattoo of him on his arm, and his son is Joe Landman, the fourth, and you know he's watching at home. What's up, little Joe? Let's take another look. I mean, that's all she wrote. I mean, that's a nice slap. And it's got to feel good. I mean, as I said last time out, didn't go his way. You know, you get ultimate redemption. You come back, you get a first round knockout. It's no wonder he's smiling. And it's no wonder that man's smiling either. It's going to be a good night. Oh, there's the reaction. Even Justin Bernard saying, okay, I got to <laughs> get back to work a little earlier than I planned on. Here's Charlie with the winner. Guys, thank you so much. Joseph Landman, the winner, your first win in Power Slap. How good do you feel now? I feel amazing. I deserve it. I've been working my ass off nonstop. I deserve that. Yeah, you definitely deserve it. You looked really good out there. Very clean swing. What is it about you now versus then that you feel like was the real difference maker? Uh, Mir knocked me out back in May, and that changed my life. I said, I'm never being that loser ever again. I'm, I'm going to the top. That's, that's all to it. Was your mindset heading up onto the power slap stage that you wanted to get the knockout in the first round? That's exactly what I wanted, and it went everything I went. So see me next time, and it's going to go exactly how I want it next time, too. Okay, so let's talk about next time. Who do you want to face next time? It doesn't matter. I'll take anyone in the middle. I'm gonna, I want to take everyone out slowly and surely. That's all. Well, you look fantastic. I know you cleaned up your lifestyle a lot, so good for you, and congratulations on your victory. Appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, back to you. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X World. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com. Slappy Joe leaving Vegas happy this time around. Good to see. Power Slap continues to look for the best slap fighters in the world, including...